At the time, there was a lot of optimism. Music was changing, politics was changing, football was changing. It was this surge, this tidal wave of culture. Everything just literally erupted. It was a great generation. You had a young band, Oasis, just ruling the world. It just seemed like the magic dust literally had been sprayed all over the city. There are some great northern cities that actually aren't beholden to anyone. Now, the football teams, of course, especially United, is a symbol of that. It was just six young lads who were enjoying life. In our eyes, we were just playing a game of football with our mates. I was loving it. We were lucky enough to play well together, and at the same time, we're playing for the biggest club in the world. There was not one piece of jealousy between any of us. We all had each other's back. You go to work every day together with your mates, you've got no cares in the world, just fun. Put me in a kit bag and padlocked it up once and put me on a bus. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. It wasn't my greatest skill when I was a young kid, that chatting <laughs> chatting girls. <laughs> the greatest feeling in the whole wide world. Well, those are the special moments, being goosebumps. You were massively aware of what you were representing in the history. I looked at the players that I'd grown up with on the pitch at that time. This was more special than anything that I've been involved in for my whole life. We were playing for the biggest club in the world with the badge that you wanted to wear, winning. What was your score? Trying to think. Do you remember you used to play at all? <laughs> I just completely <laughs> forgot. <laughs>